Well, good afternoon and welcome to the pre-season first uh, testing press conference here in the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship here in Valencia in Spain. I'm joined by the current ABB FIA Formula E World Champion, Jake Dennis, the returning 2021 champion, Nick de Vries, and our only back-to-back -back champion, Jean-Eric Verne. Uh, we'll start with you, Jake. Last time we saw you, you were lifting the trophy, confetti going off in London. What have the last few months been like as the world champion? Um, yeah, there's been a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I definitely uh, celebrated with all my friends, family. It's one of the, obviously, the best things about Formula E is obviously you do still finish in the summer, so you can still get away to some nice countries and not have to travel to the other side of the world for the good weather. So, yeah, I had some time uh, to myself as well. Um, yeah, I moved around a bit. Um, moved out of London, so just been keeping myself busy um, with properties and stuff like this. But I'm uh, definitely quite eager to get back going now. Uh, it does feel like a long time since London. Um, yeah, I haven't really I haven't driven since then. So, uh, yeah, just eager to get back going. Uh, seeing the guys out there on track this morning with fun. Um, but, yeah, obviously we had Zane in this morning in my car. So, yeah, excited to get going. Yeah, we say being back in the car is where you want to be. You'll be back out in the car this week. A new look. A new teammate as well. How confident are you that you can defend your title? Um, yeah, you know, we've still got incredibly strong powertrain. I don't think there's too much development what can happen sort of coming into this season. You know, there's always tweaks here and there, but it's more probably fine tuning. So um, I would expect the likes of DS will uh, definitely close the gap to us. But um, yeah, there's still going to be difficult to, to beat Jaguar. Um, beat the other Porsche team and um, yeah, just try and do what we did last year is going to be extremely difficult. You know, that many podiums, the wins, uh, it's never easy when the competition closes up. But um, yeah, we just need to focus on this three-day test and then analyse over the next couple of months because it's very different this year. You know, last year we did Valencia and then just went straight to Mexico and you couldn't really do all that much. Uh, whereas now we have quite a bit of time after this test to reanalyse and continue to further improve the systems uh, before Mexico. The new calendar's out for season 10 with additions in Tokyo and Shanghai in particular. Which races, as you look at that calendar, are you most looking forward to? I think Tokyo is definitely the standout uh, race in the calendar, probably speak on behalf of everyone. It's um, great that we're getting to race in such a prestigious country and obviously the city of Tokyo is going to be um, very, very special. Um, yeah, so but we've also got the, the classics, you know, going back to Monaco will be great, um, London, um, and then, yeah, it's just going to be an exciting calendar. Shanghai will be cool, uh, double header for that event, um, some of the F1 circuit as well by the sounds of it, so exciting times. Um, shame to lose Cape Town, I'm pretty disappointed about that, but uh, nevertheless, um, it's definitely been replaced with some good events. Thanks very much, Jake. Uh, Nick Vries from Mahindra Racing, first of all. Welcome back. Uh, how is it to be back in the Formula E paddock? Uh, yeah, it's nice to be back in a kind of um, familiar environment. Uh, I've had good memories from Formula E and um, spent uh, yeah, three seasons in this paddock, so I know a lot of people here and it's just nice to be uh, back in a yeah, familiar environment, so nice. When you were looking at your options this summer, what was it about the Mahindra product, uh, project that stood out for you? I think... Um, Obviously, it's no secret that the team has had a, a difficult season uh, last year, but um, uh, when um, the team presented kind of their future plans uh, to me and, and what they are planning to do to um, basically uh, come back to the front and, and become competitive, that was very... I have to interrupt you, Nick. There's a fire alarm, so we need to leave the building. Everybody, <laughs> Hopefully, we'll be back soon. Good chat, Jeff.